Hey, coaches, how you, how you doing? All right, we're doing YouTube, and I wanted to make sure I didn't uh, get anybody's name wrong. Pika. Pika, and uh, let's see. Rogue King. What's the this one under YouTube? Is this Fire and Dragon YouTube? No, it's got a link. Okay. Uh, Shrike. Shrike, okay. No, Bark, Pennington, Pendleton, Switch. Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to 2021 high school football. Tonight, we come to you from the Concrete Palace, better known as Jim Mayo Stadium, and this is called the Foundation Game. It's basically a scrimmage that plays just like the ball. holes I can see but I think she's gonna get tore up a little bit tonight well I don't think we have another home game for five weeks though do we so is that right I think it is I know so the first three are away so dragons only have four home games and this is not one of them so we'll get to we'll get to see you I don't know whether uh, our producer and director Doug Morse is going to uh, have us on the road anywhere if he does we'll be I'll ready and willing to go I'm willing to go oh yeah Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Coach, when I was coaching, we started these foundation games, and I always played Menford. You always do what? Always played Menford. That's who we always played. Yeah. No, Brett Daniels. He, he's he's not coaching anymore. He's retired. Yeah. They had the coin toss, but I wasn't paying attention. I don't know who's going to receive first. Well, we are, is, it gonna be, is it going to be live kicking, or is it just going to be kicked to where the ball is? That's usually what they do in these foundation games. Oh, do they? Yeah. See, now, I'm not familiar with them. I've never watched one before. It's usually a dead return wherever they fair, they'll fair. be fair will caught. They, will they have punch? And right, and it's that's a fair catch, too. Okay. Now, they could have changed that. Right. I was wondering who about the kicking game for Perlin. I, don't I think know who's going to be doing the kicking for them. Well, uh, we're, we're going to find out pretty quick, Al I guess. Al Alex Bruce. Alex Bruce. Got a K by his name. The Dragons are taking the field now. The Falcons are already on the visitor sideline. We got a light rain, a little overcast sky. Hopefully, if it stays like this, everything will be okay. Uh, so these kind of weather conditions, usually the bigger, stronger, Guys that can run the ball, that's yeah, usually the difference in the ball game. It's hard to keep your yeah. feet out here sometimes in the passing game when you get out here. Right. Uh, I talked with uh, Coach Cunningham on Wednesday, and he was telling me that a really bright and shiny part of their team was a line. 
Well, uh, you know what? He texted me the other day, and he said, I said, what was your strong points? And he said, I've never said this since I've been here. He said, but our line, we dominated on both sides. Wow. And I know it's going to be anchored by the big boys, 6'2", 210-pound senior Casey Hudson. I remember calling his name out a lot last year. Don't they call him IHOP? Because he pancakes everybody? I think that's what it is. <laughs> He's pretty good lineman. Last year, he did a really good job. I think guard last year. Is that where he's playing again this year? Do you know? Or, I, well, I guess no we idea. don't know, do we? No, we're going to we're going to kind of wing it here with the Starners. We'll. Uh, it looks like. Well, I this guess is a kickoff this return and a kickoff team, so we're not going to go through that. We're going to have a. Like I said, I think it'll be, I think it'll be a dead it'll be a dead kick. It's wherever they. Fair catch it. Well, at. we'll see here in just a few minutes. Back deep for the Dragons is Xander Smith, number eight, and number 27, Steeler Leap. In the middle, number three, is Zion Martin. Is Zion Martin? Or is it? Yeah. Uh, Coach, we've got some new kids this year. Oh, yes, year, we got a couple transfers that uh, Melvin was telling me about, and he's really high on them. Plus, we got some freshmen that he's really high on. It's Cam Kitts and uh, – of course, Peyton Jackson is going to be seeing his first starting action at quarterback, son of uh, my first quarterback, Michael Jackson. And there's the kick right down the middle. It comes to Xander, and he takes off. And uh, they kind of blew the whistle, I guess. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's a good thing to do, Coach, because well, there's a lot of, of injuries that occur on the kickoff. That's so, exactly you know, you right. You got to run and jump and knock the crap out of somebody. I didn't see anybody go down from either team. So they've, uh, they're going to start on the 30. Uh, quarterback for the Dragons will be uh, number 12, Peyton Jackson. Their fullback, a dynamic player who switched from middle linebacker to uh, safety, uh, <laughs> J.D. Brumfield, six foot, 195 pound senior of nothing but pure muscle. He's, He's a beast. You know what? That kid has worked his fanny yes, off he has. to get where he has. Why, a national yeah, record holder in, yeah. in uh, what is it, deadlift or something like that? Yard line. Okay. Uh, Dragons are in the pistol formation. Peyton Jackson lines up shotgun behind the center, and behind, directly behind him is Brumfield. There's the snap. He fakes a handoff to Brumfield, rolls out to his right. He's looking downfield, and the pass is behind number six. Is that six? Eight. Eight, number eight. Uh, Xander Schmidt. Xander Schmidt. Uh, we got uh, number 10, Bryson Hunt, the younger brother of, uh, of uh, what's Gavin. Name? Gavin. Gavin Hunt. I think he's taking his uh, show to Piketon, isn't he? He signed with Kentucky Christian and then transferred. He, he decommitted and went to Piketon, I think. Huh. Dragons come out in a trip set right and single receiver left. Brumfield to the right of Jackson. Jackson takes a snap, drops back. He's looking, goes right down the middle, deep, wide open, Hunt. He's got it. He's going, he's going, he's gone. Five, touchdown. Pretty good way to start your uh, season off with as a quarterback and uh, wide receiver. And the rain picks up. <laughs> or somebody just threw some water off the top. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Somebody I think it blew off the horn, Coach. Oh, it blew out of the horn. <laughs> I thought, man, the rain really picked up. The I think that was there. <laughs> You're right. It was off to that horn, that train horn they got upstairs. Oh, my. All right, doing the kicking for the Dragons, number 24, Alex Bruce. Hold, holder will be Bryson Hunt. The snapper is uh, the quarterback, Peyton Jackson. Snap, ball's down, the kick is up, and it's good. Right through the uprights, and the Dragons lead with 11.35 to go in the first quarter. Seven to nothing, Dragons. Pretty uh, pretty good start, I'd say. It was. I think there was two-play drive. <laughs> well, I think uh, com confusion in Menford secondary right there. I think that that safety was watching somewhere else, and that – Somebody got right behind him. Well, I told you when I was watching them warm up, I thought Fairland had a lot more team speed, and it showed right there. And it's 
Now the Dragons are going to kick off. And Michael Jackson, I guess, must be special teams coach. He's out, huddled up with the Dragons. And well, Coach, Alex we've got Ruth people Ruth. already saying hello. Oh, cool. Drew Clark already said, he says, I'm heading to Bainbridge listening to you jabber about the game. <laughs> I well, didn't listen, realize, is that what we do is jabber? Hey, I, I don't know, but I sent out a lot of, uh, well, you, you made a post and I made a post and I sent a bunch of the links to uh, people in Florida, Michigan, and, uh, and we're going to give those people some shout outs here a little later, maybe between quarters. At uh, back deep for Menford is number two, Trenton Zimmerman at number six. Oh, yeah, they kicking the wrong way. Excuse me, that's number eight, Colin Parker. And Hey, I got a question for you. Fire away. How come baby. the people in the two middle parts of this press box gets an air conditioner, two old guys I know are it. sitting here with nothing? I know it, I'm suffering. You know what I think? I'm gonna have Next, to stick my head out the window and get I, some air. I'm I'm gonna think I'm <laughs> I think I'm gonna go and snitch that thing and bring it over here. Yeah, I'll tell it's you what, I'll just strike them half time and you just grab it and bring it over. All right, we'll do that. Nothing, nothing worse than an old man stinking, right? But you know they're listening to us right now. Oh, so that's I right. I forgot. Well, I, I <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kyle Bruce. There's the whistle. He approaches the ball. Kickoff is short to the left, and it's taken by number 12, J.D. Mattis. I think they're going to start on the 30 as well. Well, I know when I talked to Coach Cunningham the other day, he was he was impressed with his defense. Right. That's what he I told me. About. I guess they had a four-way scrimmage up at Meg's. They yeah. played Eastern of Meg's, Meg's, and one other school, and they didn't score. And they and the Dragons scored four times. Dragons are sporting a three-four defense and stem down. Hand off to tailback, number one, Xander Smith, all over him. Uh, very short game, one yard. Uh, they didn't play a 3-4 last year, did they, Coach? No, they played a 4-3, yeah. cover two. For those of you at home, that's four down linemen, three linebackers, two corners, and two safeties. Right. We try to bring it and simplify it for you. That's why they ask us old two codgers to get up here. Sometimes I think that we probably <laughs> jabber too much and just talk to each other and know what we're talking about and expect them to know that. Right. Now they're in the 4-2. Hand off, tailback. He's got a hole. He gets about six on the play. That's going to bring I up third down and four. Ball resting on the 36-yard line. Fairland's front four looks awful big, Coach, and awful strong. They they are good size. Yeah, 56 I mean, like I said, Hudson's playing the end. Well, no, that's and where he Smith, played last year. They're in a three. They are in a three-four, but they're they're moving uh, Xander to the weak side. I think they're in man coverage. Yeah. Uh oh. Number seventy-eight, let right guard, seventy-six. Uh, he pulled a little too quick. Now, coach explained why he was pulling. Well, uh, what was he probably going to do? Well, there he. Probably, probably gonna block. Gonna, yeah, you're gonna fake a, a handoff and probably a little bootleg right, and he's gonna be out there to block because they have three receivers to the left. They come out now with three receivers to the right and one split out to the left. Quarterback in the pistol. He rolls back, throws a nice ball outside to number 11, uh, Nick Shepard, but it's incomplete. Uh, number 11, Nick Shepard. I think 11 had a little bit. I think he just had a hard time planting his feet down there. Yeah, he didn't look like he made a really sharp cut right there. So the Dragons hold. It'll be fourth down and eight. Ball resting on the 32. And into punt for the Falcons, number one, Jeffrey Pika. Snap bounces up. Pika handles it, though. Nice, nice punt. Nice kick. Coming up for the fair catch, but he did not catch it. He fumbled it, but getting on the ball 
Number 21 for the Dragons, uh, Quentin Cremains. He jumped on it. Steeler Leap, I think, well, is Steeler one that bobbled, bobbled it. Yep. So the Dragons are going to take over on their own 35-yard line with uh, 8.47 left in the first quarter. Your score, Dragons 7, Menford Falcons 0. Uh, Coach, did you talk to Coach Cunningham and ask him, are they going to play just a half and then play some JV kids? or are they? No, uh, I, I did not discuss that. I, I got more a little more personalized with him, asking him uh, where he started coaching. And uh, he started in Florida, a place called Wharton High School. Well, he was down there in the Dolphins camp. I know yeah. that. And uh, Jeff told me, Jeff Gorby, that fellow AD, that he spent a couple years at Tug Valley. And then I know he was uh, uh, – Dragons running the option right. Yeah, Peyton right. pitches it to Brumfield. Brumfield, really nice gain all the way to the Memphis Falcon 40-yard line. Uh, nice read by Peyton Jackson. That was a speed option, Coach. A little speed option action. Actually, the ball's resting on the 39, so Dragons pick up a first down. Uh, moving the ball pretty well so far, and they've only run three plays. Dragons coming out with uh, twins left, split right, and in the backfield now, number three, Zion Martin. And I don't know he him. Shifts over to the left. He's, uh, I think he might be one of those transfers. Jackson takes it, hands it to Martin, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage and brought Ooh, down by number 64, uh, Eli Kahn on the tackle. Dragons lose three yards on the play, and that's going to bring up two th uh, second down and 13 yards. Well, I go. think Trey Black got hurt there, Coach, number 50 for us. Number I think 50. that's – and I. Don't know what happened, but I think that's why they got penetration right there. He's down on the sideline now. Uh, it looks to be maybe an ankle. I hope it's an ankle, not a knee. All right, the Dragons come out and trips left. Split right. Single set back is Brumfield to the left to Peyton Jackson. Jackson takes a snap. He rolls left. Good protection. Looking, looking. Throws a a little pass out to Schmidt. Yeah, Schmidt tackled pretty much where he caught it. Did a little five-yard gain. It's going to bring up third down and Now, eight. Coach, if he'd have thrown that ball about two seconds earlier, you're probably looking at 15 yards on that pass. I think you're right. He didn't have a whole lot of room to work. Trips right this time. Dragons picking up the pace offensively. Now we got number 76 jumping off sides. Blake Skeens. And uh, coach, uh, their coach over there uh, immediately takes him out of the game. So that makes things a little easier on this third down. Now they have third down and four, or long three. Now, coach, when Brett Daniels was coaching over there, not only would that uh, young man been pulled out, but he'd have been on the back there doing push-ups. <laughs> I want to ask you though, are we in four, uh, four down territory now? Absolutely. Preseason game, absolutely. Right. All right, we got two backs to the right side of Jackson. At Schmidt, and oh, he's got the first down easily. Brumfield led up the hole and uh, got a good block. Cleared the way for Schmidt to pick up at least uh, seven, eight yards. So the Dragons will pick up the first down. And Coach, that's, that's just a simple isolation play. Yeah, that's all that was. Like the old power out right, <laughs> power six. Dragons. Three backs to or receivers to the right. Jackson. Oh, he missed it. Uh, he's got Steeler leap. Yeah, Makes a nice cut. And he's down inside the five yard line. Caught the ball, made a nice cut. Planted the right foot and turned it up. And uh, that's going to get the Dragons first and goal at the five yard line. And Coach, that was an option for a shovel pass. Yeah, I and saw that. I saw that. Uh, was that option to uh, Brumfield or Schmidt? I, believe, I think it was. Uh, you know, I don't know who was standing there, but there was a there was a huge hole. Yes. When he had looked away. Uh, we'll look for that later. That's a nice little wrinkle to make people prepare. Yep. You know, you know, as a coach, the more you do, yeah. the more people have to spend right. time preparing. Dragons come out in that power set. Got Brumfield to the left. 
Schmidt beside him. Jackson. Jackson hands to Schmidt, uh, Brumfield this time. Brumfield doesn't get much. Matter of fact, he might have lost one. He did. He lost a yard. So it's going to bring up. Uh, the ball was on the four. Now it's on the five. Second down. Goal on the five-yard line. Just inside the five. I need a bigger window, Coach. Hmm? I need a bigger window. Yeah, I know. I can scoot over there. Nah. If you want to. nah. I got plenty of room. Come on. Nah, over. we're good here. Okay, Dragons trips right. Single receiver left. Brumfield beside Jackson on the right side in the backfield. Jackson takes a snap, rolls right. And he's got, oh, he had Schmidt in the end zone. Passes right on. Uh, target and Schmidt just couldn't handle it. I think he was looking at his feet, worried about his feet getting in. I, you, you, uh, <laughs> that's a good pickup, Coach, because I think you're right here. It looked to me like he was looking down. But, why he didn't get the ball. you know what? Preseason game. Right. Work his things out. Xander's a good player, we know that, so he'll. He'll have that remedied before right, season right, starts. Right. There's 4.46 to go in the first quarter. Dragons lead 7 nothing. Coach Melvin Cunningham wants a timeout. So, let's give a shout out to you. Who you say. got? Man, I'll tell oh, you I'm on. A, I'm on a shout out to Tommy and Jekka Rule oh, up in my. Michigan. And uh, I want to shout out to my brother Mike and his wife Cheryl down in Tampa. Ricky Ray, Bobby Angelo. Barry Gill and his wife, Tanya. And they're all down at Clearwater, St. Pete. Uh, oh, yeah, I've been golfing the last two days with the Leak Boys. Uh-oh. Yeah, J.D. got me by one stroke today. Uh -oh. Gary, Gary's so mad, he shot a 70, <laughs> one under par. He wanted to shoot his age. <laughs> so, and he bogeyed number 18 or number 16, whatever. I just killed him. But isn't that awful? Shoot one under par and be mad. Uh -oh. <laughs> Must be nice. I haven't golfed in twenty some years. As a matter of fact, got, you got to pick that game. Up, oh man. no, 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 no. Oh, I don't have the patience that, for that, that I have left to do athletically besides jump in the pool with my grandkids. <laughs> well, I'm pretty good at I'm pretty good at passing kidney stones. I had another one of those this summer. A what? On vacation, oh, kidney stone. Oh no, no, worst pain known to mankind. Oh, uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, I'll that. tell you what, we got some people out Beach Fork that are uh, oh, watching yeah. us. Rutherford? The yeah, Steve yeah, Rutherford's out Steve there. Yeah, always tuning in out there. I want to shout out to my my daughters, Ashley and Holly, and my grandkids. I think Stella, the Walters are out there, Cash, too. Lola, Rosie, and little Frankie Jr. You talking about a card. All right, the uh, Dragons come out and they set in a single receiver left. Steeler Leap goes in motion. They give the ball. Oh, they fake it to... Yeah, that play didn't work very good. Took too long. Yeah, it took too long. They faked the handoff to Brumfield in the seven hole. Pitch to leap coming around in motion. But you know what? Uh, Give credit to Memphis. They had three guys that played right where oh, they yeah. were supposed to be. Yeah, they set the post over there, Coach. Did not let him get outside. Dragons are going to go for it here on fourth down. Fourth down and looks to be about seven yards. So... Are we betting something to the right since we're yeah, on the wide side of the time field? I, I think this is time where you let your kicker. Oh, they got that kicker out there. Great. Uh, Alex Bruce going to attempt one from uh, the 15-yard line, be a 25-yard field goal. Snap, kick, ball down. It's up, and it looks to be wide. Oh, it's good. It's good. Just made it across the uh, – Crossbar just inside the right upright, and the Dragons lead 10 to nothing with four. Look at there's that water. <laughs> I think you're right, brother. <laughs> hey, if we needed a shower, all we gotta do is go step out there. Really? I'll tell you what, if this heat doesn't subside, I'm gonna be spending most of halftime standing right over there. Wow. That thing's nice and cool. Oh, haven't you not been in the pool all summer? I, you know what? I guess we don't have enough uh, tenure yet to get us a air conditioner. I know. I work, you know what? You I'll and I both had Jeff in school. We need to get on him and tell him Yeah. yeah. we deserve some AC on our side. At least a fan. That would be nice. <laughs> Everybody out there listen, make sure you email Jeff Gorby and let him know that the B-team 
We need some air up. conditioning up here. <laughs> All right, Bruce is going to kick off again for the Dragons. So far, his debut has been pretty good. Uh, not been bad at all. Uh, he replaces the infamous M Emma Marshall. That's that is correct. Here's your bigger window. <laughs> He's on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? That's Drew. Drew. <laughs> I get. I bet you money he's got the AC. Oh, now Worm Leap said he needs a shout out too. He's out at Beach Fork too. Oh, Worm. Hey, Worm. How you doing, buddy? So who knows? I know, knows I know you got there. a line in the water. Yeah, Fisherman Deluxe, that boy. Bruce approaches. Soccer style kicker kicks it a little bit down the right side. Taken by number eight. Uh, Colin Parker, and I'm sure they'll start on the 30. So, so far, the Dragons have dominated play here with 3.57 to go. Yeah, but you know why? Line play. Line play. Yes. Yes. I mean, he's right. I mean, so far, he's, he's right. right. He was spot on what he talked about. Both yeah. on offense and defense. Okay. Dragons come out in there, three, four. Schmidt is uh, he's going to get a little bit far out wider. Who is that? Charlie? <laughs> oh, I missed that play, Coach, because. I, I totally missed that play. We missed that play. That's our well, fault. Well, the main thing is it's on TV. They didn't miss it. We That's did. right. <laughs> Well, our one of our like, tech guys from school yep. brought, sent us a note that said Sunday is his birthday, Charlie, going to be 52. So happy birthday, Charlie. Yeah, happy birthday, Charlie. The Dragons did pretty good. They only, they only had a gain of one. Second down, nine. Memphis, Memphis, the twin set to the right, wing left. Faked the handoff, runs a little bubble screen to the right, and it's incomplete. Dropped. Pass was a little bit too tall for number four. You uh, know, Ethan Connolly. I think that Minford looks just a little bit out of sync, which is what you're going to expect in the preseason. Yeah. You're right. This game is for working out the kinks. That's right. I, you know, I don't know how you felt about it, but like we played previews and scrimmages, I really didn't care if I won or I lost. Care. I wanted to see what the kids could do right. against competition. I didn't care for, for uh, previews. I like scrimmages a lot better because everybody got to play. That's right. Previews, two quarters, big deal. Fakes a handoff. Schmidt. Had him. Let him go. Pass it complete. Conley, he's reaching for the first down marker. And he's down, ruled down. And they got a gain of about eight there. And that's going to bring up fourth down and one on their own 39-yard line. Ooh, what I, are you going to do here, Coach? Uh, you know what? Game situation. Look at the line marker you're at. I punt the ball. I, don't, I, I punt the ball here. This yeah. is preseason. You do what? I punt it. You punt it? I do. Well, uh, I mean, okay, so set the tone for what you're going to do in the year. I mean. Oh, yeah, obviously, this game, real game, you're going to punt that ball and maybe fake it. Well, they're going for it. Well, I mean, if they've got confidence in their line that they, they can get. they got two backs. Number 36, Randall Strike. And number one, quarterback keeps it. And he lunges forward off the right side, number 15, Devin Parker. Uh, so here's what I'm going to make a comment about that. Almost all football teams now, hardly anybody goes under center anymore. I know. it. They snap that ball about five yards back in the backfield and give that defense time to penetrate to make a play. I agree 100%. And I just – I'm, I guess we're just old fashioned. I yeah, want to get really? under there and listen. What happened to the eye? Formation, <laughs> fullback lead. Let's get it on. Hand off number one. He finds a hole. He gets two My yards. Favorite. Jeffrey Pika. Nice little isolation play, just like we ran a minute ago. Yeah, oh, but okay. only two yard gain. Maybe two and a half, long two. Brings up second down, eight yards to go. Memphis comes out. They've got trip receivers left, tied in to the right. Pistol formation. 
Quarterback takes, tosses right, and he's not going anywhere. Number 53, Alec Dement on the play. Set the, he set, set the, the pose. Edge right there. And, uh, and you know what? I don't even know who that, I don't know who that is. Is that huh? somebody new? Is it Dement kid? Never now? heard of him. Never heard of him. But all these people that he's got highlighted are people that he thinks are really going to help him out this year. Yeah, some of these names on here I don't recognize. And I've been here 31 years. Well, you're getting old like me. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Trips left, the split right, pistol formation. Pika takes a snap, drops, looks, passes to the right side. Nice. nice. Pass and no. catch out there. Number two, Trenton Zimmerman on the catch. That was an excellent play. Yes, a good uh, good looking pass too, Coach. He threw that thing on a rope. He threw it on a rope and that receiver knew exactly how many yards he needed to get exactly. and he put himself right there in a position uh, to get. That was a very good route ran by Trent Zimmerman there and it showed a pair of good hands there. He caught that ball with his hands. All right, they come back out, same set. Trips left and uh, Zimmerman is split right. This time the back is set off to the left. He hands off to Pika. Wow, that interior line, defensive line, great Pika, job I'm, right I'm, there. I'm going to have to get on Brian. He's calling him Pika. I went over to the coaches and asked him how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's well, Pika. See, <laughs> see, but we're old, so we know to go do that so we yes. don't embarrass yeah. ourselves. Well, there's a loss of one on that play. There's uh, only 10 seconds left. We may get this playoff, may not. Down seven, five. I don't think they're going to get it off. Two, one. That's a quarter. That's a pretty quick quarter. That, uh, yes, and that is a pretty weak horn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It sounded like it had a little water in it, too. So we've got this air horn on the top of this thing, and then our scoreboard sounds like it's... It's sick. Uh, <laughs> I, you know what? I better shout out to my children. Yes, it's time for you to so, give a shout out, brother. I got a shout out to my son in Columbia, South Carolina. He should be listening if he's not. Uh oh. Uh, my oldest daughter down in Moorhead. She's an RA moving all the kids in and talked to her today. And she it's said, that you listen time of now. Year, isn't it? That's right. And then Bren's working tonight over at Calamity. So here's a, you know, for her. If y'all need a good dinner, go over to Calamity, ask for Bren. JD have her wait went on over you. there last night. JD Leap. I don't know if you remember yep. him. Great athlete back in the day. And uh, he graduated in 69. Uh, Great football, basketball, and baseball star. He went to Calamity Jays last night. And uh, Gary's never been there. I said, man, you're kidding me. You could get filled up just on the appetizer. Oh, yes, sir. It's good food. Yep. I've not had any bad food from there. Okay, teams are going to switch ends of the field. And uh, Minford is going to take over on the Dragons' 47-yard line with second down and 11 to go. Dragons playing pretty well in the trenches. This year they're featuring a four or a three four. It's actually a three th three with a. Uh, I'm just monster. wondering. I wonder if he's playing a three three. Now it looks like a four two. You know, but what? they've got you know three receivers left, one right, pistol formation. Receiver quarterback drops back. He's under pressure. He tucks and goes, and uh, slips. Oh, With a gain of about one. Dragons did a real good job putting pressure on. They've got great quickness on the outside and in the yep. skill positions where they need it. And they've got great strength and size on the line where you need it. So the Dragons are uh, pretty much dominating this game on the line of scrimmage and with their speed. Minford comes out again and uh, trips left. Split receiver right. I think they've got this guy. They think they've got this guy on the island. They're probably going to throw to him. Uh, there it is. Uh, threw a little, a little square curl in. Curl pyre to number four. Nice reception. Turns it up and gets the first down. Gain of about 10, 11 on that play. Uh, ball is going to be resting on the Dragons' 34-yard line. First down and 10, the mighty Minford Falcons. I didn't pay attention to what kind of coverage you were in that time, but I don't think Coach Cunningham looked too happy. Well, him being an All-American defensive back, well, he was at Marshall. 
Uh, you know, he's he, probably pretty uh, concerned and about the secondary. They got four deep. I'll tell you, it looks uh, like we're in man. I don't know. Coach over here said, oh, my God. So I think he's he saw something. Dragon sniffed that one out. Number 54, number two, uh, J.D. Brumfield tackled him in the backfield for a two-yard loss. It's going to bring up third down or second down, excuse me. Second down? Yep. Yeah, second down at 12. Uh, ball now rested on the Dragons' 37-yard line. Looks like he shuffled in a couple more different linemen. The Dragons? Yep. 53, Alec Demance well, in there now. He told me, I'll, I'll tell you here after this play, trips right this time, split left, pistol formation. Quarterback Parker drops. He rolls out to the right. He's looking. Now he throws and overthrows number two, Trenton Zimmerman. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to bring up third down 12. He told me this was the first time that he had been able to play his front four on defense and not play anybody on the offensive line or vice versa. Wow. Yeah. He said he had they had a lot of depth on the line. Well, that's awesome. We can keep the injury bug away. Uh, then right. That's... And he's had, he's got 47 kids out this year. That's awesome. I was counting Menford. They've got 44. Yeah, 47. I never had that many. I think we might have had 40. Uh, I know my last year I started with 29 and ended with 29. Wow. You're lucky there. You I, well, we, we, we were right, lucky. Dragons in there. And rolling right. Pass is caught there by Zimmerman. They had to slide to catch it and they only got a gain of about four. So that's going to bring up fourth down and nine. Ball resting on the Dragons 34 yard line. I just heard from Coach McClung. He's down at Myrtle Beach, sitting on the beach. And he always in, either in the, in the river or on the beach. He now. is. Must be nice to be him, is all I can say. <laughs> well, I've had a great year this year. Started off down in uh, Destin, Santa Rosa Beach, then went to North Myrtle Beach, then went back to North Myrtle Beach and played 162 holes of golf in uh, five days. You got and any I'm hands going left? back again in November. What's well, because you're retired? You can yeah, do that's that. That's right, and that's all I can you do. I told it. you that's all I got left to do. I just hope I don't get hurt at the point where I can't swing a club. But well, uh, well my fun, fun is in the summers driving a produce truck. Hey, but I will tell you this: I have met a lot of good Brian people. Brian told me Drew asked him if he wanted a job. Said really? he would make more money than he ever made in his life. <laughs> I said, "Well, tell him I'll go drive too." I said, "I could drive," but I said, "I ain't unloading nothing. I ain't loading nothing up." <laughs> hey, let me tell you, those uh, uh, those 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 trucks are big, and you gotta. Uh, they gotta. But you know, I what? mean, their expansion up there has been. Unbelievable over the years. Well, how I many mean, buildings? I counted four I down there. To, you're talking about greenhouses. As you come yeah. into uh, Athelia, we counted four great big old great. buildings there. That's where he used to used to raise the pumpkins, but he's got nothing but tomatoes down there. Memphis comes out, trips left. Parker looks nice throw down the middle, but just. A now little bit too that, far ahead. That's a blown Zimmerman. coverage right there. Zimmerman it must be their main target. He looks to be the only kid that can run. But he was wide open. So the Dragons are going to take over on downs. Ball's going to rest on the 33-yard line. Uh, Dragons take over. We do try to establish ground game here, run some clock, or do you? Ah, uh, well, we got nine minutes to yeah. go. I see. I mean, I don't know uh, what he's looking for. I, I mean, think they're just going to run their offense and see if they can score. I always Memphis in the four, two, five deep. Jackson, shotgun, Brumfield to the left. Jackson dropped back, a little drop off to, uh, oh, he's wide open, Lord and mercy. Uh, and he's gone. Brumfield, 10, five, touchdown. Dragons, one play drive. Boy, those are nice. <laughs> that pass wasn't four yards long. 
and he covered 72 yards, excuse me, 68 yards. I'll get it right here in a minute, 67 yards. Well, he got and three passing. really nice blocks. Yes, he did. I seen Hudson out here, old pan, old high, I hop. I hop. I hop Steve there. Elite got a good block downfield. There yep. was another lineman that got a block. Well, I'll tell you what, when you beat that first line of defense on the pass, second line of defense, which is your linebackers, they didn't have a check prayer. But like you say, the downfield blocking on the third line of defense, which is the secondary, blew them away. I always used to give helmet stickers for good downfield blocks. Yes. Alex Bruce on to try the extra point. Snap is down. The kick is up, and it's good. And the Dragons lead 17 to nothing with 9.06 to go in the second quarter. And the ball's floating in Lake Gorbachev back there. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, they got a real. I'm gonna, man, that was a torrential. You should. Did, were you around? Or were you driving today? Well, no, no. The, I, actually, I was yeah. at Walmart for my mother, uh -huh. and I got <laughs> stuck in there for a while. I know, finally made it to I her know house. About that, but and, I don't go to Walmart. Uh, <laughs> and then I went to. Then I had to go to my house out in the country. Right. And I'll tell you, it was a gully washer. I had that thunder and lightning. Oh my goodness! It was a cracking and a popping. As soon as we got off the golf course, I thought, you know, Lord, Lord is good to golfers. Hey, he was looking after you today. Uh, Where'd y'all golf at today? Uh, Sugarwood. Okay. It's a great shape. Ed Allen does a tremendous job out there. Puts a lot of money back into it. As a matter of fact, it looks like he's getting ready to pave the parking lot, which has always been gravel. But uh, he's a good Christian man, and he has a... Uh, Wonderful place to go play golf. Tomorrow we're playing Riviera. Okay, back deep for Falcons. Number uh, eight, Colin Parker. And number, is that two? Number two, Trenton Zimmerman. Kick is up, right down the middle. A little better kick. It's caught and fumbled by uh, Parker, but uh, they're gonna get it on the 30. Kicking game is all show and no go. So they'll take over on the 30. Falcon football, first and 10. 8.58 left in the half. Can you believe it's football season already? I know. It. I wish it was a little cooler. It's going to be a little cooler tomorrow. I think 79 tomorrow. Man, it's been hot the last couple of days, though. Ooh, wee. Matter of fact, I think I was I up drink of about 100 miles past Pittsburgh yesterday, and it was still blazing hot up there. Man, you putting in the miles, brother. Dragons in the four. They got a new player in there. Nice little cut. And pick up a five for Pika. Tell you, that kid's a hard runner. Yeah. Now, how you say it's, his name correctly so he, I don't screw it he's up? He's just a sophomore. Pika. Pika. Pika, P-I-C-A, and Brian's calling him Pika. But uh, I got a little inside info. <laughs> All the names I can't pronounce, I go over and ask the coach about it. Pronounce it. <laughs> okay, this time they're coming out in a, with a tight end right, split right, and twins left. Pistol formation. Oh. That is swarmed under by Alec Dement. I think that's the kid he told me that was like uh, deadlifting 500 pounds or something like that. Said he pushes people back. You cannot block him. Wow. He just gets, and he says he's not very tall. Alec Dement is uh, 5'10", senior. He said he gets under people. Well, that's the key. Just push you you know, leverage. leverage. That's all it. about leverage. Now, we got 35 in there, but I don't know who that is because he's not on our list. Uh, 35. So he was he's right there playing 35. the nose. He's playing the nose I right there him. in the middle. I see him. Well, school starts next week, so maybe hey, I'll, I'll learn some as, who as these Roy, people are. Roy D. Mercer would say, how, how, how big a fella is he? <laughs> <laughs> There's your square in again. Uh, yeah, and boy, he got laid out by... Number Steel. 27, Steeler lead. Laid the wood to him. That's going to bring up fourth down and eight for the Falcons. And it uh, looks like they're bringing on the punting unit. 
Now, Coach, that's the same play they ran down here in the first quarter. Right. They ran a little square in. Yeah. The Dragons going to send back steal or leap. And uh, looks like maybe Peek is going to be the punter. He's kind of a do-all for Mighty Men for Falcons. They're going to split re receiver out right and left just for coverage. There's a snap. That's the second and snap that's of the ground. That's bounced. That's, that's still nice. He's got punt. a pretty strong leg. Ball bounces past Steeler. But it doesn't matter. They're going to get it on 30. I don't know. They may mark it down there. I don't know. He's he is uh, he's had time out there. I don't know. Maybe they are. He's standing down there where the ball was. Ah, it looks like they're going to take it all the way back there. That's somewhere around the 14, 15 yard line. So the Dragons are going to see uh, what kind of uh, movement they can get on offense here in uh, deep in their own territory, in the shadow of their own uh, goal line. Dragons come out, trips left, single receiver right. Number nine, Gavin Davis. I thought he was 10. Who was 10? 10, Bryson Hunt. Gavin Davis is a freshman. You're going to run a little slip screen over to Hunt. Hunt picks up good yardage. He's got a first down, I think. You're good. Yes. First down. He picks up exactly 10, 11 yards there. And uh, Dragons... Uh, you know, I like Peyton Jackson. He's got a lot of confidence. And Coach uh, Cunningham was telling me he lets stuff roll right off his back. He makes a mistake for a sophomore. But you play quarterback, that's the way you got to be. You know that. Right. You got to let it go. Play the next play. Dragons come out. Uh, they're going to go tw double. Going to go twin twins. set. Going to go twin set here. Two right, two left. Zion Martin is the back in the backfield. Schmidt goes in motion to the right. Jackson steps up. Now he's going to go. He's going to run. And he's got another first down. Boom. Hit hard on the sideline by number 58, uh, Hunter Pendleton. And uh, very nice gain and a good decision yep. by the Excellent. sophomore quarterback. He tucks it and goes. And uh, picks up the first down. Dragons all the way out to the 44, Here's 43 the nice yard thing line. about poise right there for him because he took what they gave him. Right. He didn't try to force it. And a lot of kids, especially a sophomore, are going to try to force that ball downfield. How, how good is he going to be when he's a senior? <laughs> that, yeah, that really well, showed I me think something. For sure Trips his right. Speed option right. He pitches Zion Martin. He's got running room. He's up, down to the 28-yard line. Really nice uh, decision on the pitch. Nice pitch, nice catch, and he went north and south, Coach. It's like uh, a hard cover. runner, Coach. Yes. Uh, down to the 29-yard line. This is a very impressive drive starting out on your own 15. Uh, trips left again. Steeler leap lone receiver to the right. Zion Martin on the right, Peyton Jackson in the shotgun. He takes a snap, hands it off to uh, Zion, and he's going to get three or four. Zion Martin on the carry for about three yards, going to bring up second down and seven. With 5.33 to go in the half. Uh, we got trips left. And uh, Gavin Davis is going to go right, split right. I like this group over here in the trips. Hunt and Davis and Schmidt. <laughs> That's speed to burn. Yep. Zion Martin, the lone running back. Four seconds on the game car on the clock. Peyton drops. They run a little screen over to Zion. He slips, and uh, I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage, so that's going to bring up third down and eight. Uh, I think if he keeps his foot 
a, a footing there, Coach. He might uh, might have done something, but uh, Melvin really likes to run the screens. I always loved him. I did too. Tunnel screen, trips. bubble screen, loved them all. Uh, Middle screen, probably my favorite. Actually, Coach, I used to run a triple screen. Wow. Trips left. Jackson back, drops, looking. Now he's going to tuck it, and he throws it, and it's almost intercepted by number four, Ethan Conley. Almost came up with the interception. Now the Dragons are going to face fourth down and eight on the Manford Falcon 28-yard line. I would say Mr. Jackson would probably like that one back. he do what? I think he'd like that one back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Number 35. Actually, though, Coach, I think I was watching. I think whoever was a linebacker on I that side did a pretty good job. I think 35 might be Bill, Bill Grimm or Heather Grimm's uh, son. I don't know what his name is. Stewart, maybe? I don't know. I don't see a Stewart on here. Peyton. Looking down the middle, it's caught, but short. it's short of the first down. The body went for Falcons have held the Dragons on downs, and they're going to take over on the 20. Uh, looks like they're going to take over on the. Coach, I think we got two 25 yard lines out there. Let me see. Do you hear me? You got what? We got two 25 yard lines <laughs> out there. <laughs> Did you not <and> do that? <laughs> You know, I remember many a late night oh out here on this field God. painting this I love field. Thursday nights. You know, pizza. Yeah. We did have a good time. Good fellowship. Paint. <laughs> Had a yeah. good time. Yes. Uh, somebody uh, got a little off track here. Yeah, first time painting. Yeah. Okay, Falcons come up with twins right, and they've got a tight end right. Now, he's an elder. He looks like he's covered up. And they hand off to the tailback, and he... Hops over the line of scrimmage for about a three-yard gain. It's going to bring up third down seven. Ball's sitting on just over the 30-yard line. Coach, that number up. That, uh, that Pika, he's a player, I think. Yeah, he's, I think he he's really a is. He's hard-nosed. Major uh, athlete. And he said he's only in the 10th grade? Yes. Wow. What it says, Pika. Pika, 10th grade. They come out in the same set, twins right. Now they got a blocking back between the guard and the tackle. And the quarterback drops the ball, and uh, he got on it. So that's going to be a big loss. It's going to bring up third and about, uh, oh, I don't know, 13 or 14 yards. Ball's all the way back to the 24, depending on which line you're looking at. <laughs> Coach, I think we did that once, and I think we had to get some green paint, didn't we? Yeah. I think well, we i did. tell you what it was. It was uh, Lester Brumfield. God rest his soul. Great guy. The one that uh, drove the bus. and uh, it, was, uh, <laughs> it was the numbers. We, you know, he had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 01. <laughs> 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 How about that? Oh, man, he was a great guy. You had to have guys like that in your program, man. They come out. You know what? That's the great time. thing about here. There's always been people like that here. Oh yeah, always. I I, bet, I guess they had a crew out here uh, Thursday night. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, high school football is a community thing, man. Yep, it is. Oh, I was going to tell you about my triple screen. You're going to do what? I, I'm going to tell you about the triple screen I used to run. Oh, yeah. Come on, one lay it on me. So one was a bubble Three. on one side. Yeah. The other side was a slip, and then I had a middle. Yeah. And look right, look left. You looked, Four. and, I, you know, when I bring Chance was my quarterback when we ran it. And Did it he was, have his choice? or? Well, he had to, there was a couple reads that he could look at, depending on what defense yeah. they were in. Then we could figure out who to throw it to. I love that play. They are. This is alumni night for all of you fans out there tuning in. They're going to honor every former Fairland football player. I don't 
think I'm going to be able to make it down there. Uh, we got passed down the middle to Pika, and he overthrows and got good pressure there from number 75 for the Dragons. Justin McKee. Justin McKee really uh, had the pressure. Coach, we held them again. Yeah. Four, they lost 14. yardage. Yes. Uh, I'd say we're dominating this first half. The Dragons are ranked ninth in Division Six preseason by the Associated Press, ranked ninth in the state. Wow. You know, when you make a nice run, 53 hustling off, gets it to the sideline before the snap. The snap is good this time. Pika got a nice foot. Hunt back, and he takes a fair catch at the 41-yard line. So the Dragons are going to start at the 41 on this drive. How much time we got left? Two minutes and 22 seconds. Well, left. you know what? Guess what? You get to see two-minute drill. Yes. That's a good thing about uh, these these type games. And I love it because it's mostly game conditions, all of it. The kicking game is modified to protect the players. And uh, I like that aspect. Yeah, we did that in, in scrimmages too. You know, we just said kick it. You line, you don't block. And defense, you don't come in. So uh, Falcons come out and they're in there 4-2. Dragons, they go first and 10 the ball Five deep. Yard line. Dragons, trips right. And Gavin Davis is split left. Brumfield back in the backfield. He's going to run the speed option again. And Brumfield is off into the races. Turns it up. He's going to get caught at about the 25 yard line. Depending on which yard line you look at. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he. Uh, I don't know whether you folks can see that or not, but somebody messed up the line. <laughs> they got two 25-yard hey, lines. You know, Coach, we're allowed to do that because we've done, we've all done that before. Oh, sure. Anyway, Dragons come out again and trips right, and they've got Steeler Leap split out. Or excuse me, trips left. They have Steeler Leap split out to the right. Uh, a hurry up offense all night long, Jackson. He takes it and he throws a bubble screen to uh, Gavin Davis. He's still going. They got him by the shirt tail, and now there's a flag on the play, the first flag of the game. With a minute and 53 seconds, that's the first penalty in the game. I think that's going to be a hold on Xander yeah. Schmidt. On who? Xander. Xander Schmidt. I think. Got called. Uh, yeah, he. I seen him point toward Fairland, so that's going to be uh, 10 yards. From the original line of scrimmage, you're going to bring up second down 20. I didn't know whether they did that from the spot of the foul or from the line of scrimmage. It's going to be, we'll see here in a second. Looks like it's going to be from the line of scrimmage. scrimmage. Yep, there he goes. He's walking it off. And it is a 10-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up first down and 20. Uh, Dragons got a minute and 50 seconds to go. I don't know why they didn't stop the clock on that. It's running now. Uh, Peyton Jackson rolls right. He's looking. He dumps it off to Xander Schmidt, who can't hold on. See, again, he held that ball too long, about two steps too long. Yeah. I don't like to see him take a hit like that. Yeah, that'd bring up second down and 20. Now Dragons are gonna come out and trips right this time and Davis, Gavin Davis is gonna split out to the left. He's got Brumfield to his left, Jackson in the shotgun. Takes a snap, it's rolled back, but he picks it up, fakes, and now he's throwing deep. He's Don't got picked. Gavin Davis, and who was double covered, and he is lucky that did not get picked on the coverage for the Falcons. Number four, Ethan Conley, and number one, Jeffrey Peake. I think he actually had somebody open on a post. That's a nice, uh, nice throw there. Yeah, it was. Nice ball. 
Brings up third down and 20 for the Dragons. One minute and 29 seconds to go in the first half. Dragons leading 17 nothing. 14 seconds on the game clock on the uh, play clock. And down to five. Needs to get this snap off. He does. Peyton drops back. Now he's looking down the middle, which is what I'm looking for. He's got he's got Bryson Hunt right down the middle. Beat his man by four yards and laid it right. What I tell you was open on the previous play. The post. The post. Man, he he uh he threw a beautiful ball there, coach. I, I really like this kid. He uh he laid that baby right in there. Easy catch. And the Dragons score again with 121 to go in the half. And on the kick to extra point is Alex Bruce, who has been true all night long. Knock on wood. <laughs> uh, you think we'll give him the announcer jinx? <laughs> Hunt no, I do takes not. Takes a snap, puts it down, kick is up, and it's good. Uh, and the ball is again laying in Lake Gorbachev. <laughs> How many balls are going to go through tonight? Uh, I'm just glad I'm not the one traipsing through there to get Really? Him. Who is that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, he's got a boot on his foot, too. Oh, Lord. Not me. Oh, they got it. They got a young fella now willing to run out and get the ball. And now he throws it to the player that's injured. What number is that? Number I, can't, I can't tell. And he's got a boot on his foot. I think it's. Maybe we need to get some binoculars. Cooper Cummings, number 11. Is that who that is? Yeah, I think it is. The Dragons leading with 117 to go, 24 zip over the mighty Benford Falcons. <laughs> Coach, it's 8 o'clock. I think we're going to get this in before the rain comes. I hope so. I think so. it's supposed to be here around 10. I hope we do. Here we're going to give a shout out to Doug over there. Doug Moores is the man who makes this thing go. Uh, Done an outstanding job. I enjoy working for him. Uh, he always he, has he, it ready for he, us. Yes, yes. Except I wish he'd give us that air conditioner. Maybe he can pull some <laughs> strings. <laughs> well, he's not responsible for that, really. <laughs> that Gorby. We got to get old Gorby. Well, what do they do here? Just run think. the clock out. I think they're going to, they, they got to try to move the football. You know, they've got a little one, one minute, 12 second drill they need to be running. I, I don't think I would be kneeling down with. I know you wouldn't be kneeling down. Not, You'd be not down 24 four streaks. <laughs> I'd have to come up with some kind of trick play right here. Falcons come out, twins right, split left. Shotgun, snap, and a handoff to the full or uh, running back. Pika, he finds some room. He gains about 11, picks up the first down. And you know what allowed that coach? We blitzed the linebacker yes. right there, and he had his head down, went right by him. Hey, he runs hard and hits the hole hard. That's what I've been trying to teach my grandson, Cash Money Whitley. <laughs> they got him a running back his first year he's ever played. Oh, my. And <laughs> I, I got it. I'm, I'm trying to get him to learn which hand to put up, you know. When he goes right, put that left hand up. When he goes left, put that right hand up. He don't have any problem going going left. He's going right. He doesn't want to put that. Snap is by bad, and Parker falls on it. That's going to bring up second down and 13. I wonder how many. Loss of three had, on the play. They've had three or four bad snaps. I wonder if that's from, uh, if that ball's wet. I don't know, but. Uh, they knew the conditions before they got here. You know, that's one of the things about everybody playing on turf now. You don't worry about these conditions too right, much. Right. You know, you, there's a lot of people don't want the turf. I saw that. Another bad snap. This time the back falls on it. Number two, Trenton. No, excuse me. Number 12, oh, yeah. J.D. Mattis falls on the ball. And another loss of about 
Uh, see, five more. It's going to bring up third down at 20. So this is going to be a stupid question, but do they have any positive yardage for this half? I don't know. I, the Dragons I mean, have pretty much dominated. They, they couldn't be more than even. I mean, you know I'm, I'm I mean? just sitting here looking at a couple this. nice runs out of Pika, but they've lost. And that a one lot pass. Yards. Yes. But uh, I mean, I'd say that, they're, they're, I mean, they've lost 10 yards here on this drive. Right. So I would think uh, they might be on the negative side, Coach. Oh, we've got the great Renee <laughs> <laughs> Marshall in here complaining about something. Come on. Come on, what is it? What do you need? Well, yeah, Renee, uh, you, you can, want, come, you here and you can come and talk to us. Come in there. <laughs> She's gun shy. Hey, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I want you to lean over here. Come here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to let you talk. I just want you to lean over here. Move back. Coach. Now look right in there. You're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nice little run right there. Call it, Coach. I, I that was either number two or number 12. I can't remember. I was trying to get out of the way. <laughs> Ran to the wide side of the field. It's going to be six, fourth and 15. Yeah, they got about five or six yards on that. Not bad. No. Uh, that. I don't know. There's only 11 seconds to go, and he's riding the clock. That's going to be it. They're going to let it run out. Dragons lead 24 zip, uh, playing like the number nine team in uh, Division Six. Uh, totally dominated that half on that the scoreboard and in the trenches. Total domination. And that's where you win a ball game, Coach. On Absolutely. That line of scrimmage. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do now. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach. Let's give the cheerleaders some props. They sure. Were Columbus. You, you one, know oh, these I, people. Well, no, I just know they – I'm, I'm been gone all this – traveling the whole state of Ohio. I probably, but they won some kind of competition or something I in think Columbus. I know one girl down there, and that's uh, Maddie Workman, mm -hmm. the redhead. Beautiful redhead. Now, that's, that's Ginger. It. And her mom's Erica Hall. Right. Erica yeah. and uh, – her dad, I forget his first name. Now, I, I don't know any of them. There are several but, faces down there, Coach, that I don't know. Well, I know they're getting a, they got a lot of first places or something on the camp they went to or the competition yep. or whatever. If I have them in class, I usually uh, know them. If under I don't, the direction of Shauna Lee. No, she's not coaching she's anymore. She's not coaching this year? No, I don't know who's coaching. It's a, man. it's a Mrs. Adkins. Mrs. Adkins, is that the blonde lady down here talking to him? Must be. It must be. I have no idea. I've never I, met I, the lady. I don't know her. I didn't know Shauna wasn't coaching. Uh, I think she got on the retired coaches train with the rest of us. Yeah. I, well, I finished my last season of softball, and I finished that, and I'm, I'm not going to do anything this year. Good. No basketball, believe that. And just, my gosh, you're going to have all kinds of time. You're going to – hey, I have six Saturdays and one Sunday as a retired person. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, you deserve to enjoy it. I am. I have enjoyed it immensely. I uh, Grandkids and golf, man, it don't get any better than that. Well, you know, I better give a shout out to my sister, Go with Mary it. Johnson, because and Tom, brother in law, I'm sure they're talking about the codgers. Oh my uh, goodness. I better give a shout out well, to you my wife. Well you say here, Terry Duty. It's good to see you. Peggy How are you? Coddle Harris. Taking care of the old man. By the way, Terry, you're on camera, so say hi to everybody. <laughs> 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 hey, that's one of my former coaches. He's a daggone good coach, just letting you all know that. Coach running backs and secondary backs and took care of the special teams. It's been a while, though. It's been 10 years. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to take the headset off and walk right next door and stand in front of that air well, conditioner. Well, Terry, you go ahead. put the sit headphones on. Talk to me. Everybody wants to. Everybody wants to. Oh, yeah, everybody wants to. You tell us what's going on with hey, you. Not much. Not much at all. So let it's me introduce coming. Terry. Terry is... Are you still a leading rusher in South Point history? Yes. Yes. In Third the Hall of Fame down there. 
was one fantastic coach. 37 years now? It's been that long. It's been that long. He and I used to bump That's heads crazy. back in high school, yeah. back in the day. So Yeah, I think you got the best of me that year, your senior year. Well, maybe. Y'all was pretty loaded. <laughs> <laughs> We were pretty. Y'all was pretty loaded. It's pretty bad year. to go nine and one, not make state yeah, playoffs. Yeah, it's pretty sad anymore. But, uh, ain't it? Yeah, you all uh, did well that next year, though. Yeah, we did all right. Went seven and three that next year, so we did all right. It's pretty good. So what's going on with you this summer? I haven't seen you. <laughs> Just work. That's it. That's all I get to do. Work. Uh, it's like a rest. Have you enjoying the ball game out here? Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, a little muddy out there, but. They're holding their own. Uh, Coach Harris and I were laughing about the two twenty-five yards. Uh, that's what we there. was out here talking about too. Yeah, I said, I think well, we think we've done I that a couple times. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. I think, I think we put numbers on the wrong. <laughs> yeah, we a couple have. Times. Yeah. Yep, backwards and you know you it know, happens. If you know people that haven't coached together, don't realize the camaraderie and the oh, absolutely, and the fellowship that you have with yeah. somebody. I mean, you and I yeah. are going to be friends for life. Oh, you know you got that, that right. it's just, I was you asking. Know, out there, well, I guess I figured Dave was here. They said he's in there. So I'll wait till halftime. I'll go ahead and speak to him. Well, you sh you come in anytime. Uh, Hang out with us. Um, what do you think about Fairland's line? Be defensive and offensive line. Well, I mean, I'm they seem like they, they're pretty quick. I mean, I think they're pretty quick up front. I mean, they got decent size. I mean, I think they're doing – they're getting the backfield pretty good. Um, I'm just impressed with them, period. I think they – they got a pretty good team this year, I, I think. They look solid. Yeah. I mean, J.D., you, know, you give him the ball, he's got a chance to score every time. But you know what? That kid has worked his tail. He has. I mean, it and, shows. People, and people it don't shows. realize all the work that young man's yes. put into trying to make himself better. Yeah. They really don't. Yeah. Uh, Peyton Jackson's done a good job. Yes. Out yeah. here for sophomore. We were talking mm -hmm. about that. I think he really made, you know, one, one decision maybe he'd want to yeah. think about. But I think he's hey, done well. You know, that's going to happen during a game and, you know, you got the pressure coming on you, and that's going to happen. But he's he's made some good decisions tonight. Oh, uh, well, I better I better get this right. Tim Hayes says Fairland cheerleaders wrapped up an impressive UCA camp in Cincinnati today. First place in cheer and sideline, right. first in game day overall, second stunning. So congratulations, girls. Congratulations. We don't know who all of you are, so we won't mention <laughs> any names because I'd forget somebody. So what you been into? How you Working. Been? Same. It's working. Except for my kidney stone I had uh, oh, on vacation that I had surgery. It was nice. Great vacation. <laughs> you and them stones, I tell you. Uh, you've, you've been there with me. I know. I had one I on the sideline yeah. one time during a ball yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. You've had them before. It's not much fun. I call it the Carol curse because both of my daughters have had them. Oh, really? My sisters have had them. Oh, wow. It's uh, – Oh, wow. Well, those deals. By the way, how the kids doing? You might as well doing fill good. me in on them. Doing real good. You know, of course, Tyler's you know, with UPS and right. driving for them. Kimmy actually had a baby. I'm a grandfather well, now. Congratulations, yeah, Grandpa! Absolutely. He's uh, two months old now. Yep. Yeah, but you Grandpa. Are, are you spoiling yet? Oh yeah, every chance I get, every chance I get, I go down there, and every time I hold him, of course, he goes to sleep. I don't get to play with him much. He just sleeps right now. Well, that's good. <laughs> but he's growing, I'm telling you. Well, you know else. what's going to happen when he gets one and a half or two? You're going to say, I'm not chasing him. That's I'm. You're going to take him <laughs> some candy and get him all that's sugared right. up and just Let's see ya. <laughs> oh, you know me. I can't wait to get that football in his hand. Well. I'm going to put a football in that kid's hand. Hey, football's my favorite sport. Oh, I love it. By far. I love it. Absolutely. I enjoy it so much. Yep. And I enjoy just watching. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this you has know, been. This it's hard to get the coach out of you, though, when you're sitting up here watching. Yeah. It's hard. It is. It's hard. <laughs> it is. But you um, know what? I Like, you know, I'm glad to see that there's people that are dedicated to come out and, and it's going to work these programs. And, right. I, and that's what talking about Coach Harris. People don't realize how much time you spend oh, coaching. Exactly. And it's not. In just in season, mm -hmm. it's year Absolutely. round. Absolutely, it's year round, year round. I mean, me and you spend a lot of weekends together, sitting watching tape, hours on hours. I know people I don't mean, realize that. It's just, it's unbelievable how much time you put into this. We spent yeah. a lot of Sundays. A lot of Sundays. Yeah, getting things make ready. dinners and have dinners. Well, together. Yeah, that probably was about the best part. We did have some <laughs> we good <did>. dinners. <laughs> Yes, we did. Of course, if we were gonna, 
if we were going to, uh, you know, work that long, we had to eat. We got to That's eat. important. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, they're getting ready to recognize down here uh, some former Fairland football players. So, Coach, you and I can't go down. I'm a Chesapeake boy and you're a South Point I'm a boy, South boy, so yep. we're transplants. Yeah. We can sit up here and cheer for them and congratulate them. And Quite a few guys we know there. Yep. Oh, it looks like there's even a couple that might have played for us down there. <laughs> yeah, that's the old chance down there. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your picture, please? On the track at this time are all Fairland football alumni. The very first four guys in the line played on this field in the very first ball game 53 years ago tonight. Please stand and give a round of applause. Fairland football family, we appreciate everything. Thank you so much. And you're always welcome here at Fairland Stadium. Coach Thank Harris, you. you gotta say hi to everybody. Oh yeah. I'll tell you something else. We'll talk about Coach Harris, but you know what? We're lucky to have the zebras out here we got tonight, because you know there's a shortage all oh, over really? the country. Yeah. Can't get people to do it. Oh wow. I actually can't get people to do basketball. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. I've had several people over the years approach me since we've retired and said, don't you want to do it? And I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they go through, don't you? <laughs> you don't know part of that. <laughs> hey, I was always the calm one on the sideline. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you was. <laughs> I held my composure. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of get excited myself on the sideline a little bit. Well, you know me. It took a lot to get me excited. It didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> you knew when I got mad, I threw my hat. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I can say one thing. Me and you coach it together. I can say we could look at each other and knew pretty much what each other was thinking in a game. Well, here's the funny thing. And folks at home, I don't know if you all know this, but a lot of people, they'll, they'll script their first few plays they're going to mm -hmm. run in a ball game. Right. And I would go to Terry, and I would say we'd watch film and do all this stuff, and I'd say, all right, on Tuesday, you have your first ten plays that you yeah. think we ought to run. And I said, I'm going to put mine down. And I kid you not, folks, eight or nine of the first ten plays, yeah. we always had the same Always thing. the same. Always. Yep. Now, it may not have been in the same order, right? but well, we always had there. them the same. Yeah. Absolutely. we got a pretty good crowd here tonight. Yes, it is. Saw the band. It's, band is the band still down there? Uh, I'm not sure if they left yet or not. I can't tell. They was down there when I came up here. Well, that's a pretty good crowd for a foundation game. Heck yeah. And I guess Coach Gorby told me when I came in that we don't play back again here for five. I know it. They've got what three or four home games? I think it's four. I think four it's what Coach Harris said four. Yeah, I know they get play four straight away. <laughs> Maybe they'll give them time to yeah. get this field done. We don't. Yeah. Well, you know that field. I mean, it can't take much water. No, it can't. I mean, it can't. Uh, there was but. nights that we'd have games. We'd be out there speedy drought and yeah, field absolutely. trying to dry it out before yeah. we played. Yeah. Just, yeah. These guys but. have turf. They, they have it made. They got them made. Don't know how, <laughs> what to do to work on a field like this. But you know what? I think uh, that this plays into advantage for us. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, it does. So, I'll tell you how much time we got left. About eight minutes? eight minutes? Let's take a little break here. All what do right. you say? Sounds good. All right, folks, we'll be back in about, I say, about eight minutes and uh, have a second half for you. Terry, thank you for coming good in. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, folks, we'll be back in about eight minutes.
Okay, half time is over, and we're just about set for the second half kickoff. Looks like the Clayton, uh, be good, buddy. Okay, take care. All righty, man. Good to see you. Well, we got the scoop on uh, number 35. He's back to 78. Uh, his, uh, I forget his first name. Ethan right? Stewart. Ethan. Ethan Stewart. 6'3", 299. Had 35 on him because they were lining him up in the power set at tight end. And you can't have uh, a line number on him if you're going to line up in an eligible well, receiver Coach, position. We've That's got to wish a happy 45th birthday to Ryan Schmidt. Xander's dad. Yeah, he's just a young man at he's 45. He's a pup. Lord have mercy. Compared to me and you, he's a pup. <laughs> happy birthday, Ryan. Yes, happy birthday. Okay, we're about set. It looks he's like uh, they're not even going to kick off. They're just going to give, I think they're going to give uh, Minford the ball at the 30. They just laid it down at 30. I guess they've done enough kicking for tonight. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got some awfully clean, clean, clean jerseys. Yeah, it looks there. like we're going to go with some JV players. Nate Chianese? Chianese. Chianese. Boy, That's I screwed name. that up. <laughs> <laughs> I see he's out there. Number 15, Ethan Wall. Number 7, Christian Collins. Number 6, Oh, I already said that. I already screwed that up once. I won't screw it up again. Uh, 65 is uh, Dylan Stone. Dylan Stone. That's Jenna and Caitlin's little brother. Oh, really? Uh, number 22 is uh, Sam, Sam Ward. Sam Ward. That's Max's younger brother. Played quarterback here last right, year. Right, right. 65, I already said Dylan Stone. Uh, I'm trying to pick up some other numbers. Out there, looks like they're going to play the young ones now. Dragons pretty much dominated the first half. Don't know whether they'll come back in the fourth quarter or what, but the third quarter looks like number five, C.J. Graham. Chad Graham's boy. Played Chad for both play. of us. Yeah. Chad was one of those guys that played anywhere you want him to play. Yep. Nose guard, outside linebacker, center, whatever. And here's the thing about Chad. If you told him to do something, oh, he yeah. went and did it. He Cooper Charles is out there, number 59. Uh, Dragons are lined up now in a 4-3, Coach. I think that's 25 over there. You on know the what, floor, Coach? I think know. this is a good thing. Let these kids, yeah. young kids, Isaiah have a Mc, Mc, uh, Get that one for me. Which one is it? McNichol. McNichol. Isaiah yeah. McNichol. Yeah, he's out there at uh, corner. Okay. They come out, and uh, twins left. Wing right, handoff, tailback. He turns it up, and he is met by the safety. Uh, number six, Nate Chianese. Chianese. <laughs> All right, you call it next. <laughs> Chianese. Uh, made a nice play, Coach. He, 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 made, a, he made a really good play yeah, right looks there. Looks like they're in a – now they're going back to – they've got two safeties and two corners. He did a great job. Running that down from his safety position. It'll be uh, twins right and wing left this time with a tight end in the shotgun. Number four, he hands off to number 20. Number four is Ethan Conley. And number 20 is Tyson Kingry on the carry. He picks up a solid five yards and it's six yards. It's going to be third down four. That kid runs hard too, Coach. Yes, on the Dragon 37 yard, or on the Falcons own 37 yard line. Well, we got a lot of kinks work out, don't we? <laughs> I do. Oh, anyway, we all do. What are you yeah. talking about? All right, here we go. We got twins right and a split left. Two backs beside the quarterback. Conley takes it, fakes, run a little counter. Number 15, Ethan Wall. He sniffed that out and hit him in the back field, and no gain. So it's going to bring up fourth and four. Now, was where was Ethan playing? Was he playing the end right there? Uh, no, he's a linebacker. Linebacker. Well, Coach, there's your another linebacker quarterback. Oh, really? Yes, sir. He's backup quarterback? Yes. But he's lining up right there in the middle. That linebacker. 
15 or 16. Uh, there's no 16, or yes, there is. Is that 15? Uh, we'll see when he's coming to the sideline. It's is that a six or a five? That's a six. Oh, is that's that a Zach six? Step. Okay, Zach Step. I don't Zach know who that Step. is either. I don't either, but he sniffed it out and made a nice play. And what they're going to do is, what are they doing here? They're going to simulate the punt, I guess. Oh, we're going to put it down. Yeah, well, I think they're going to simulate the punt. And Probably put ball it on the ball is going to be on the, looks like the 30. No uh, no more kicking tonight. Got to look like unless it's an extra point. Well, my guess <laughs> is the JV team probably doesn't have special teams set up yet. Right, and uh, we got the JV defense for Minford now on the field because every one of those jerseys is white. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dragons are going to come out on the JV offense. Now, and Ethan Stewart. Wall is number 15. And number 78, that's Stewart. Boy, he is a, a J.D. Mercer, uh, or a, what's your name? Roy D. Mercer. Roy D. Oh, Mercer. Uh, woo! Candidate. He big boy. Wow. And uh, I think I get things straight here. Coach Jackson, Michael Jackson, has uh, taken over. The range, and now Melvin puts in his two cents worth. And uh, this is great for those young ones. It is. To find out who can step up, because you know, in football, it's next man up. That's right. And, and you got to uh, be ready. Yeah. We got twins, or trips, excuse me. Twins right, wing right, with a split left. And the back is in the uh, pistol position. Quarterback takes a snap. Number 15, he rolls left, he looks, he dumps it off to 22. And a uh, uh, pretty nice game. Number 22, Sam Ward caught that ball from quarterback Ethan Wall. Uh, did, you see his, did you see that? Uh, see Ethan's mechanics right there? Yeah. Got those shoulders turned to the line of scrimmage, got that ball, was looking downfield, hit his check down. Coming. Nice pickup, seven yards. It's going to be second down and three. Ball resting near or on the 40 yard line. Uh, maybe 39. I think we're now just... we got twins right, split left. Oh, Back we got trips. Back offset to the, the trips right. to the right. That's what I meant, trips. Speed option. Good running lane there and then pick up of about, oh, we got a flag. Second flag. That I'm going to guess we got, a, we got a hold, I would say. 21, Quentin Cremines on the carry. And it uh, looks like we might have a play. Yeah, it looks like we might have a, the penalty is a spot Holy penalty driving. holding. It would be 10 yards from the line of scrimmage, which is going to make it about second down and 12. Dragons come out and trips left. Single receiver wide right. Wall barking out the signals. Takes a snap, straight drop back, and he's dropped in the backfield, sacked by number tw uh, 80. Yeah. Back on the I cannot see that. Brady Haas, number 80. We need Looks a spotter like he, up here, Coach. He, he, yeah, it's 80. <laughs> I haven't lost my vision all that way. Much. My wife will tell you I've lost my hearing, but <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> anyway, uh, how is nice the Pegmeister? She's doing great. She babysitting every day. Boy, she's just she just loves that little Frankie. Frankie June, 11 months old. She'll be one the 25th of this month. And you talking about a card? Woo! She's something. She's she's gonna walk before she gets a tooth. Oh my! Yeah, she got a tooth in her head. We got a timeout by the Dragons. Third and forever. Mm. Third and forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Third down about 17. Ball sitting on the 26-yard line. Three, 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 three. Ooh, boy, that little puff of fresh air felt good, didn't it? Well, they shut that door back there. Maybe we're getting some... <laughs> Sweltering up here. But you know what? It's going a bit 
get better. By the way, I talked to the athletic director out there when we took our break, and I was talking to him <laughs> about Lake Gorbachev. He says that's now a pond. A pond. <laughs> he says it's going down. <laughs> he, uh, I told him that we had to invest in another one of those. He just laughed at me. Of course he did. Okay, Dragons come out. It was 55. A.J. McComas is now the center for the Dragons. Trying to give everybody a shout out here that's on the field. Wall takes a snap. Now he throws deep down the middle and is picked off by number 33. Logan Twynham. And he returns it back to the Dragons 29 yard line. So Memphis going to take over in a pretty good field position deep. Yep. To it right to him. Didn't see him. Yeah. It's a learning experience. Absolutely. But like you said, you know what? He gets a chance to come back in and he's put it behind him and go play. Yeah. Well, Peyton Jackson has sure done that, but he hasn't made any bad plays tonight, I don't think. No, he's done it. He did it. He's done a good he's job. He's played an excellent ball game. Dragons are in there three, three, five deep. Hand off tailback, and he's hit by number 22. And Sam Ward again on the play. Was that 22 or 32? Or I was that 32? Think. I don't know. I can't tell from Well, late. let's give the guy props. 32 is Will Calico. So it must be either Sam or Will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll give them both shout out. That might be, it might have been Will. I don't know. Will's playing linebacker there. He shot the gap there and was in the backfield. Playing outside linebacker on the right side. Dragons in the 3-3, three, three, five deep. Fakes a handoff, quarterback keep. He, uh, he doesn't go anywhere. That Now that was uh, Sam Ward on the play right there. Sam doing a nice job getting penetration. Good wrap on the tackle. Brings up third down and nine, 7.05 to go in the third quarter. And we got both JV teams playing right now. And we're going to go twins right and twins left. Single set back to the right. Takes a snap, looks, throws over the middle. It's off his hands and picked off. Picked off by number six. Oh, he's got a little room. He lowers his head and <coughs> he dished out the punishment there, coach. He didn't take any. That's right. That was number six. Kianessi. <laughs> Kianessi on the play. Man, you could do that all day. That felt good. <laughs> I didn't want stung. <laughs> what was it, a fly? Heck no, it wasn't a fly. What was it? It was a yellow jacket. Yellow jacket? Oh, gosh. All right, Dragon's going to take over on the 40-yard line, I think. Well, we got a conversation over there. I don't know what they're doing there. By the way, I was telling Coach Duty here a while ago, we need to thank these guys and the, these officials because you know what, Coach, you can't find officials to do ball games anymore. I know it. They're just. Uh, it's like that in football. It's uh, like that in basketball. Oh well, yeah, it's like that in the nursing uh, industry right now. You know, last year they were heroes. Wow. This right. year's you get fired if you don't get vaccinated. So, uh, you know, uh, I think that is going to be post possession penalty. A crack black, a crack back block on the return of the interception. So the Dragons will take over, but they're going to take over in a little deeper territory, about the 23-yard line. You know, Coach, a few years ago, they took the crack back block away. I know it. I used to love that. Oh, you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like bringing that outside receiver oh, down on the outside line. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, that, that's back when football was different. Different, yeah. All right, Dragons come out, and we got number one. Oh, yes, Cam Kitts. That's a kid that uh, Melvin was pretty high on. He's a setback next to Conley. Conley takes a snap, 
Fakes. Now he's in trouble, and he's going down. Nice play there. I think it was number 57. Yeah, he's turning around here. I'll get his number. 67. Number 67, Pierce Banks for the Mighty Menford Falcons. He made a nice him. play. Yes, he did. He dropped him for an 11-yard loss. And the Dragons are facing second and 21, maybe a 12-yard loss. Uh, and the ball is resting just inside the 15-yard line. I'm hoping Coach Cunningham didn't have onions before the game because somebody is sure getting chewed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you got yeah, big redders yeah. dentine in because I'm telling yeah. you, he is absolutely chewing some rear end out there. Oh, I think it's his lineman. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the next play call is. Facing second and 21. 6.18 left in the third quarter. And uh, waiting on the Falcons to break the huddle over there. After the timeout, they're going to set up second down and 16. What did he say? Over a 15 yard line. Conley puts him down, takes a snap, drops straight back, fakes a pass, and he drops it to number four. I thought that was number one. Num Lucas Bompas is number four. I don't know who he, oh, must, I'm be gonna a, he must be a freshman. Yeah, Lucas Bompas? Yep. Ninth grader, don't know him. B O M P U S, Bompas. And they picked up about, oh, maybe uh, eight yards. Uh, the kids' boy's nine. down here on the sideline, Coach. He's not even dressed tonight. Huh. If he must have an injury. Oh, my. Snap is low, and he's going to be sacked by number 17, uh, Tyrell Bragdon. Tyrell Bragdon. Uh, free run right at the quarterback, and the snap. Bad snap didn't help things. Nope. Three straight plays we went backwards, Coach. No, I take that back. Uh, no, the three out of four. Right. Yeah. And you're probably looking at a lot of freshmen and sophomores out there right now. Got a timeout. Uh, I don't know what this is. This could be a water break. I don't know. Uh, are they going to simulate a punt? Oh, yeah. Was it a fourth down? Yeah, it's fourth yeah, down. Yeah, they're, they're simulating a punt. They'll probably take it down 30 yards or so. He's stepping it off right now, the umpire. Or, excuse me, the uh, referee. And yes, he stepped off 30 yards, and Memphis is going to take control at the Dragons' 40-yard line. Mm. Great so, field position. Uh, Memphis comes out, and they they got a wing left, twins left, and tight end right. Excuse me, tight end was left. Oh, he gets he gets stopped. And his tracks in the backfield by number 65. Number 65 is Dylan Stone on the play. He comes off the field. He's replaced by number 61. I don't know. They got a 61 out there. I don't have a 61 on the roster. I don't know. I don't know. That could be. I could be reading a number wrong. Well, there is no light in here. We are old. Yes. My sister said we are codgers still, so. Well, we're doing the best we can. Having fun. I'm enjoying it. Hey, I've enjoyed it. Yes. We got twins left, tight end left, and a wing right who goes in motion. 
quarterback pitches him the ball. The quarterback now for uh, Menford is Colin Rice. He's about there. And the back there was number 12, J.D. Mattis. Tell you what, we did a good job setting the edge up there. Defensively, they're not playing all that bad. Offensively, they haven't been able to move the ball. That is number 61 out there, Coach, but we don't have a 61 down on, on the roster. Now, here's the one thing I want to know. We haven't seen that tonight. How's our defense going to do against the counter? Because our flow is really getting to the ball. Right. I mean, that right there, the flow was there. Yeah. They got there quick. Now we got twins right and twins left. Running backs to the left of the quarterback or to the right. Oh, he's being pressured. Now he throws it out here in the flat, and he's got plenty of room, and he stumbles. Number 20 to Tyson Kingry. Got the first down. Yes, nice play there. Nice composure by the quarterback. Avoided the rush, got the pass off. Number 20 is now entering the game for the Dragons. That's Garrett Spence. Ah, Brandon Boy. Yep, he played quite a bit last year. Did he? He's in at uh, outside left linebacker. Dragons in at 3 2 five, 6. Hand off to number 20. He goes right up the gut. Number 20, Tyson Kingry again on the carry. This time he gets about. Uh, they got two yards on the carry. Brings up second down and eight. I want to shout out to Rusty Smith, my trust, trusty companion on the pool business. That was He's over rusty. there on the chains. Ah. He's been doing the chains for years. Shout out to Rusty and his family. Good people. Trip, trips left. Single setback right. He's getting pressured now. He rolls out, and he's going to tuck it and go. He turns it up. Pretty good gain. Almost gets the first down. He's going to be a couple yards shy. And Good decision. That, yes, that was quarterback Colin Rice on the carry. Didn't have anything. Took what uh, he sees, saw some green grass out there on the left, Coach, and tucked it and went. Looks like everybody's getting a little action in here right now. It's going to bring up third down and a long one. 128 to go in the third quarter. Trips to the right, single wide left. Drops. Oh, and the ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage and almost picked off by number 21 for the Dragons. That was Quentin Cremines almost pulled that out of the air. I'll now it's going to bring up fourth down and one. Quarterback took a good shot right there. Did he? Yes, he did. Yeah, he held it pretty long. I don't know who that was. He got their hand on the ball, uh, but that's a good play by the defensive lineman. If you can't make the sack, get your hands up in the air. Maybe you'll hit it. Maybe well, you'll he, make them throw a bad toss. All right, trips right, split left. Rice back. Looks right. He's got a guy wide open. Good catch out there. Number 12, he gets loose. And he has got the first down. Pick up of about three or four on the play. And number 12, J.D. Mattis. First down for the Memphis Falcons. Ball resting on the Dragons' 14-yard line. First and 10. Now we're going to go uh, I've running back on each side of the quarterback. Twins left, split right. Snap. A handoff number 12. He hits in the seven hole area and he's good for about three, maybe four. Uh, four yard pickup. And he's brought down by Garrett Spence on the play. 14, 13 seconds to go. I don't know whether he gets this play off or not. 10 seconds. I think that, uh, they're going to have to hustle if they're going to 
four, two, one. That's a quarter. So we'll switch ends. All right, man. You got any more shout outs? Oh, I guess uh, we can shout out to about everybody. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'll shout out to my other brother, Rick. I don't know whether he's watching or not. My sister, Francie, up God bless. She might be watching. Uh, I, I don't know. I've hit just about everybody I know. Uh, that's not true. You know everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think I did. Hey, I told you it took me 20 minutes to get from the gate I, I to those ask, steps down there. I want to ask you something. Ask what? How many times do you have a former player or student when you're in, say, food fair or Kroger or whatever, walk up and say, hey, coach, how you doing? You're going, uh, uh, hi, bub. All <laughs> the time. <laughs> I tell you, I can't hey, stand I'm, it. I, I remember their face. Yes. But I can't remember you know names. Face. And I feel bad. I had one last night. I'll give him a shout out. Jim Brumfield. He had a goatee, you know, and I looked and I said, I know that guy. He said, hey, coach, how you doing? I said, uh, hi, Mr. Brumfield. I couldn't remember his first name, but I think it's Jim. But, uh, yeah, man, that's a sign, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know what? You've been around here a long time, and I've been around here a long time. And, you know, I think we both had probably some positive effects on a lot of people. and I hope. Well, that's my hope, too. All right, Memphis going to set up second and eight at the 14. Snap, handoff 26. And he's get dropped right near the line of scrimmage. He might have picked up one. That was Kingry, number 20. We have another visitor. <laughs> and uh, we got uh, third down and seven. One, uh, 11.40 to go in the third quarter. Falcons looking for their first score of the night. And they're going to come out in twins left, tight end right with a wing right. And the running back, Kingry, is on the right side of Colin Rice, the quarterback. There's a snap, hands off. He's got a nice hole, and he's free, and he's in the end zone. Number 20, Tyson Kingry. Literally untouched there, Coach. Went I'll right off what. right tackle. One of the turned it up. Got a pancake block out there, and I don't know who he took down, but he I think it was the outside linebacker. But they yeah. absolutely got he absolutely pummeled him. Well, yeah, that, that's got to give them a little promise, a, a, a bright spot for tonight after being dominated in the first half, 24 nothing. The Falcons are on the board, and I don't know if they are going to kick. Their kicker is number 17. Uh, Tyrell Bragdon and the holder I think is number two Trenton Zimmerman yes uh, right footed soccer style kicker snap is good the hold is good the kick is no good but it is over Lake Gorbachev <laughs> it went over it went over Lake Gorbachev I just now realized what you meant by Gorbachev. <laughs> That's a good name. Oh, Gorby. You know, we give him props. He does a great job. I'm really proud of him. But Hey, you know. somebody's got to give him a hard time. Right, farm we boy. We both had him in school. Farm boy. That's what we called him. What all his uh, teammates called him, farm boy. Yeah. Well, he was my defensive coordinator. Uh, he helped me. Uh I think he was uh, Coach Ward's assistant line coach back then. I remember I was mad at an official, and he grabbed the back of my belt. <laughs> he wouldn't let me go. I was ready to <laughs> jump on somebody in the striped shirts. Well, let me tell you what. When he coached with me, he was the one getting pulled back. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> All right, the Dragons come out, and we've got uh, – looks like the varsity's back on there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's not. It's the JVs. And we've got twins right, wing right, the split left. Takes a snap, hands to the tailback. Has a little shake and bake. And he's got a really nice run there, a pickup of 14 yards. 
Uh, so who was that young man? Uh, number 26. 26. I, I don't have a 26. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong roster. 26 is Jack Hayden. Nice run, Jack Hayden. No, that's Riley Hayden's little brother. I don't know him. All right, they're back out in the same set. Twins right, split left, wing right. Same play. A little stutter step. Now he's open. Oh, he got tripped up by number, Coach, number he's 20. Twisting. He's got quick feet. Kingry, yes. I like his – he got a little shake and bake there. I'm going to tell you, he's uh, he's impressive. And he's only going to get better. And he's got to get bigger. He's just a little fella. Dragons come out now in wing – or a twins left, wing left, split right. And the back is on the right side of the quarterback. Hands it off, number 26 again. Cuts it up, almost picks up the first down. He's uh, Jack Hayden again with a gain of about five or six there. It's going to bring up third down and a long two. I don't think that uh, down marker is in the right spot there, Coach. Third down and two. Twins right, split left. And we got a wing right. And in the backfield. We got to run the option. Number four. And number four down. is, is uh, Bumpus. Lucas. Lucas, Lucas Bumpus. Bumpus. And he picks up the yardage for the first down. And the Dragons are now moving the ball pretty good. Ball resting on the... Memphis Falcon, 45-yard line. 9.04 to go in the game. Split receiver to the left is Nate Kianessi. Kianessi. Twins left, split right, wing left. Hand off to number 21. Number 21. Quentin, Quentin Cremines, ball carrier. Nice pickup on the play of about five or six. That looks like a good five-yard gain. Be second down and five. Eight, 23 on a running clock. Dragons come out and twins right, split left, and a wing right. Hand off again to the little jitterbug. Jack Hayden, he's a couple yards short of the first down, and it'll be third down and two, 7.55 to go. Dragons move the ball pretty consistent right now, Coach. Yep. It's been a quick game. It yes. really has. Uh, it's just uh, five minutes till nine, and that uh, next storm's not supposed to hit till 10. We're going to be in good shape. Uh-oh, we got a couple linemen jump for uh, – uh, Menford offsides, and that's going to be a penalty first down. Dragons get a free five yards there and just enough to pick up the first down. You know what? Well, we only had about four or five penalties tonight altogether. Really? I think, uh, at, and they, I think they've had two offsides, and we've had maybe two or we, we had, had a two crack, holdings and we crack, had a crackback. Crack crack five penalties in this game is really good for your first outing. Oh, on both yeah. sides. Absolutely. Dragons, first and 10. Ball resting on the 31-yard line. We got twins left, split right. We got a look like a uh, jet sweep and quarterback. A keeper. jet sweep fake. Fake the handoff to number seven. Uh, Christian Collins, and the quarterback kept the ball. Ethan Wall, and he got a really nice gain out of about seven yards. So we're going to look at second down and three. 6.45 to go in the game. This is uh, best the JVs have looked 
in their time on the field tonight. Yes. Twins left, wing left, back offset to the right, hands at number 26. Again, Jack Hayden, he turns it up. Nice spin move, gets two or three more extra yards, picks up the first down. Hey, great. Beautiful. Hey, you know what? I love a back to the lean. Hey, you got to love that. Yards after contact. Absolutely. That's exactly what they call it. Did you that. notice he was falling forward too? Yes. Nice spin. Fell forward for a couple more. Picked up the first down easily, and it's going to be first and 10 for the Dragons at the uh, Memphis 20 yard line. Well, I, I got somebody just sent me a message. We're going to talk about this here in a minute. Okay. We you're, got going, you're, you're going to enjoy wins this. Wins right. Wing. Uh, we're going to call timeout. Melvin doesn't like it. <laughs> He's mad. He's landing on somebody. Number seven, uh, Christian Collins. He's he's getting an earful right now. But uh, you know, it's a learning process. Uh, what do you J. want to talk D. about? J.D. Dinwiddie just sent us a message. Oh, J.D., one of my favorites. Hey, you know he's been very successful down in North Carolina. You Great know, we coached with him here, and he played for you. First and, year, I was a head coach, and. Uh, him and Worm, oh my gosh, <laughs> having both those guys on the same side, uh, they were they were something. But JD's a tough nut. Uh, his sister Jamie played basketball for me my first year as a girls basketball coach. Great athlete, married to Joey Thacker. Yep. And uh, well, anyway, JD says I'm going to need you to pick up the energy while on the air. Let's go. Pick up the energy. J.D.'s always been How old are you, J.D.? you got to be 20, 30 years younger than us. Send me some <laughs> of that, uh, what is it, that energy drink? <laughs> Monster. Yeah. Twins left, wing left, fakes a handoff, drops back, throws a deep fade, and it's caught! It's caught in there. How about that energy, J.D.? Wow. Nate Kianessi. Kianessi on the ground. <laughs> Man, that's tough on the old ears. And, and that's right above us, too. Hey, you ought to be on a riding mo uh, mower, mowing your backyard, mind your own business, and Jonathan Casella comes by, who works for the... <laughs> CSX. For, yes, and he got one of them in his truck. He like to roll me off that mower. <laughs> I still owe him for that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Great catch there by Kia Nessie. That was a great – you know what? That was a daggone good, good throw. throw. <laughs> yes, it was. Run a fade pattern to the left. And the defender yeah. jumped just a wee bit too early. I said the defender jumped just a wee bit too yeah, early. Yeah, too soon. Hey, great play. All right, we got uh, – who we got? We got uh, Alex Bruce again. I don't know who that no. is. No, no, Xander Smith. Xander oh, Smith. Oh, he's excited. Look at him. He made it. <laughs> he, he's excited. Good for that young man. Oh, he drilled it too. Hey, it's nice to know you got a backup kicker. That's right. You know, you know what? And the Dragons sure, take a lead, thirty-one let's, let's to six. Just hope now. We don't miss Emma Marshall this year. Is she not a great kicker last year for us? Oh, my, it's a, it's a historic. One of the most. It was the most historic kick. You know. We beat Chesapeake on an extra point once, and Ryan Hager was <laughs> as a kicker, and he hit the crossbar and it bounced off, <laughs> and we won by one point. But I'm telling you, when you hit a 27-yarder with no time on the clock, uh, to win a playoff game that sends you to uh, the regionals, oh, my God. And she had been kicking really well all week long, and Melvin told me, he said, we knew what we wanted to do, you know. But, you know, before that, the hunt boy. Great catch, run, right. got it down to the 20, and then the penalty in the end zone with no time left, you get one untimed down. Melvin right. says, come on, let's go win it, and she sure did. Yeah, and she's at yeah, Shawnee State now? The homecoming queen. <laughs> <laughs> I think, is she running cross country? Is that what she's doing down Shawnee? Oh, bad snap. Quarterback, he gets down on it. And that's going to be a big loss of about 15 yards. Uh, number 33 in for the Dragons now. That is uh, 
Deontay Bryant. Number five is in. Freshman. Deontay's a freshman. CJ's been yeah, in there. The, we know yeah. him. All the, everybody's got a little playing time. Snap, handoff, tailback, and he's met in the backfield by a host of Dragon players and dropped for now, a couple yards. Coach, loss. I don't know if you know this, but our middle school team last year was pretty daggone good. All these freshmen that are in here. Oh, man. I think they're undefeated. They were good. Junior high. They were good. good. This is going to nothing but give them confidence for the future. And that's, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to develop players, too, especially in games like this. All right, it's third down and about forever. As Calvin Kirsty would say, third down in Damara Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Twins right and left. Drops back, throws down the middle, and it's picked off by number 21. He's got some room. He turns the corner, and he knocked out of bounds in the end zone. Number <laughs> Number 21, Quentin Cremines on the interception and return, and he just knocks over the pylon for the touchdown. The Dragons go up 37-6 to with the extra point to go. Tell you what, Coach, he had some wheels right there. Oh, and Xander's in to kick again. This ought to be fun. Oh, boy. You know, that last kick was like, I come over and Melvin had his back turned to him. He's messing with it. He was like, see, I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> Let's see Holding the ball for the Dragons, number 10, Bryson Hunt. And Xander Smith's going to attempt the extra point Let's again. Let's see if Xander keeps his head down this time or if he wants to watch it go through. Snap, good. It's down. Kick. Excellent. Right down the middle with plenty of room to spare. Wow. Wow, that was impressive. Now he's walking off like, yeah, I do this every day. <laughs> Dragons up 31 points with 357 to go. 37 to 6. And that was uh, an impressive defensive play there. That was a nice play. Yep. Kristen Qu Quentin Quermines. I think he's freshman too, isn't he, Coach? Can you imagine what a mess I'd make of things if you wasn't here? <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. I, I was afraid you weren't going to make it. Me. Well, if I'd have been driving the truck today, I wouldn't have made it. I know it. Okay. Falcons are going to take over on the own 30-yard line. And everybody's getting a little action. 3.57 to go in the game. Tell you what, Fairland's got a lot of positives to take from this game. Oh, yes. And this is doing nothing but making them better. I told you, it's a next man up. Now they can see who they can depend on to step in there in case someone gets hurt. They got a handoff to, I think that was Hayden. Hayden, the ball point. Uh, no, not. Not for us. 22. I can't tell who it was. Those jerseys, they're in a huddle, and they've got dirt on them. And I know it. I, I thought it was 26, but I don't see a 26 here on there. Maybe it was 20. Yeah, it was number 20, Kingry. Dragons in a 3-3. Three, three. Six deep. Snap is good. Hand off, and ooh, he's crunched in there by number 20. For the Dragons, Garrett Spence. Garrett Spence laid the wood to him right there, buddy. Met him right on the line of scrimmage. And it's going to bring up third down and nine. Three minutes to go in the game. Fought off a good block there, Coach. Yeah, great job. He stuck his head right in there. Good wrap, good tackle. We got twins right, twins left for the Falcons. Running back, offset to the right. 
Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking, looking. He gets around. Now he's going to tuck it and go. Nice run. And he is going to make the first down. Nice play. Number 44, Colin Rice, was not going to be denied. Great pickup, about 12 yards there. That's a heck of a play. Yes. But remember so, what you said. You get fast past the first line. It's your defensive line. You get past the second line with your linebackers. Yeah, Secondary if you've got the third line of defense making tackles, you're in trouble. <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to. Don't get me wrong, but if they're doing it all night, you're not. You don't want your safeties and corners leading the game in tackles. That's correct. Dragons now look like they're in a four-man, four, four down lineman. Yes. Snap. Rice takes it. Throws it. Oh, wow. Number four, Lucas Bompas. Looked like he was going to. He was going to come up and make that pick, but the receiver made a great catch. And we got a flag on the play. Motion. Motion. Illegal motion on. Uh, that's going to cost him five. That'll be uh, first down and 15. For the Falcons, 136 to go in the game. Falcons break the huddle, and they come out and trips left this time, split right. Uh, the back is offset to the left, takes a snap, hands to the back, and he's met in the backfield. Oh, who is that? 73, number 73, Elias Blankenship. Had great penetration, wrapped him. He didn't finish, but he had some help, and uh, that's going to be another loss on the play of about five yards, and you bring up second down and 20. Going backwards. Hmm? Going backwards. Yeah, that's a good sign. I like the penetration that the, line, uh, that the down linemen are getting right now. Ah, uh, bad snap. You better get rid of it, son. He's going to run it, and he's brought down, met. Uh, who is that? Number number 20, or is that 30? Number 30 for the Dragons. And I don't see a 30. Maybe it was 20. Maybe it was 20. I can't tell. Number 20, Garrett Spence again. Garrett's played a good game, and that's going to be it. Game's over. Wow. And, uh, man, it's nine, 10 minutes after 9. We avoided any lightning, any thunder, any rain. Coach. It's been a great evening. Coach, my pleasure and uh, joy that you are here tonight with us. Coach hey, Ward. We've had a great time. Hey, Coach, I've been wanting to tell you. I've been wanting to yell at you. That quarterback was Pika. Not what? running Pika. back. Pika. Pika, number one. You called him Pika all night. I <laughs> <laughs> You know, if it had been me, you'd have done the same thing. Hey, I went over and asked him <laughs> all these hard names. I always ask him how he pronounce it. <laughs> hey, brother, good to see you. All right, see you, Coach. That's Coach uh, Brian Ward, golf coach supreme. He's won about five titles in a row now. Had a couple of kids go to the state. Brian Ward. And he's a heck of a golfer. Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm going down. That's who I played those 162 holes with. But, uh, anyway, listen, I think we're going to sign off now. Yeah, Coach has been good. I, I don't. We don't know when we're going to be back. I, we have no idea because uh, they only have four games and the first three are away. Uh, Doug will get in contact with us and let us know. But and We'll uh, let you guys know. And we'll let you know. We'll always make a post out there and let you know. Thank you. Final score, Dragons 37, Memphis Falcons 6. Good night, everyone. We've good. had a great time. All right, good night.